Hi, and welcome back. I'm Porter William, and this is Entertaining People, San Francisco style. Today, it's a Valentine's Spectacular. Whether you're making a fantastic meal for a loved one, a sweetheart, or maybe just your child's teacher, you're going to love this episode. It's all about Valentine's today. And again, whether you're cooking for a sweetheart or somebody else, make this. It's a whole lot of fun. We're going to start with a beautiful palmer, and I'm going to do them two ways. Those are those great puff pastry cookies that we have, but I'm doing them savory today, which is really going to be a a lot of fun. We're going to start with a sheet of frozen puff pastry. You've seen me use this before. Very simple. You want that about just thawed out, slightly room temperature. Dust your board with some flour. And what we're going to do is we're going to actually roll this out. Use your rolling pin and make sure that we can uh, get a nice flat surface on this. You'll probably have to flip it a time or two. What I love about these is that when you roll them up, the two sides, they actually come out in a shape of a heart. And it's so simple. Anybody can do this. Now, when we're done rolling the palmer, we'll actually want to refrigerate it for a couple hours. I actually left some in overnight, but I've done it in as short as just a few hours. That's really all we need. We're going to start with quattro formaggio, just a mix of cheese right from your local purveyor, very, very simply. And we're just going to sprinkle. That's all you need because these are really thin, small wafers. And what I love, I'm going to do this half and half. The first side I'm going to do with some pepperoncini. It's going to have a little bit of kick in it. I love this stuff when it comes out. So much fun. And it smells great, too. Your guests are going to love that. And of course, my standby Herbs de Provence, which never leaves my counter. I just reach in and just a little bit of Herbs de Provence. So what's happening is I've got half with some flavor. And this other one is just going to be a very mellow, simple starch flavor. It's going to be really great. Going to do a little drizzle, olive oil, set that aside. And today, because it's all about Valentine's Day, pink and red are our colors. Look at this beautiful pink Himalayan sea salt. I'm going to cook everything with pink salt today. So we're just going to sprinkle that on here, both sides. And now what we're going to do is we're going to just turn the board sideways and we're going to roll up. The first pleat goes really tight. You're basically doing like a strudel. And then you're just going to take your hands and roll that in half on one side. How easy is that? And the next one, tuck that first one in so it looks great. And then get your fingers under there and roll. So fun. Did you see the heart coming together? There you go. Remember the heart on I Love Lucy? That's what I'm thinking about right here. Well, this is our palmer. Stay right there. And what's going to happen is we're just going to put it on a regular cookie sheet. Pick up your palmer all at once. Set it on there, and then now let's roll it tightly together. One, two, turn your sides in. Three, four, we're done. This is going to the refrigerator, and we'll be right back. The next thing I'm going to start with is our starch on the plate, and it's going to be a baked polenta, and it's going to be done in a heart. Let me show you how it's done. What I've got here is just a store-bought tube of polenta, and the easiest way to handle it is just get a sharp knife and cut right through the plastic. You'll see that there's a little liquid there. Go ahead and discard the end. And what I like to do, just for cleanliness and safety, just push out about not quite a half inch piece, a little bit more slice it off. Now we're cooking for two because this is a Valentine basket and you know my rule, I always make one extra in case something goes wrong. So we're going to plan for two of these on each plate. Here's what we do. This is so simple. Join me here. We're just going to line these up. We've got plenty of extras here. So if there's anyone else in your family and look at these, you guys, I love this. I found this at the restaurant supply. I found this fantastic set of heart shaped cookie cutters. Anything I can do today, I can do from this one set. If you go to entertainingpeople.com, you'll find out where you can get these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick the smallest heart that I have right here. I love that. Look at that. Happy Valentine's Day. And all we're going to do is take that cookie cutter right in the middle of that piece, press it down with your thumb, push it through, and discard the rest of that polenta. Now what's great about that is you can soften that polenta with milk, cheese, and use it in another recipe so really nothing gets wasted. I love this. It's like Play-Doh. It's so fun. We're just cutting out hearts. Pop your heart out. 
another one, and we're actually gonna be going for four to eight total. I just have a regular cooking sheet. I'm just gonna give it a hit of some cooking spray. And very simply, let's lay our polenta hearts perfectly in a row, because it's all about love with entertaining people. And what I'm doing here to spice up the red and the fun, because everything has got to be spicy, is I'm using this hot red pepper sauce. And I'm just going to dab it right on each one. Look at that. How about that color? I love that. Set that aside. You can find these prepped in almost any store nowadays. They really are fantastic. And then I'm taking the other heart of that polenta, and I'm going to press that down. Wow, that looks great. It's so simple. Look at those great polenta hearts with a red pepper sauce. We're going to pop them in the oven and visit these in about 20 minutes. Well, it's Valentine's Day, and it really is all about extravagance. We've got caviar and really fun, decadent foods, and I can't think of anything else better than a fantastic rack of lamb. I want to talk to you a little bit about this technique. This is called Frenching, and you can see where I had my butcher remove all the fat and a little bit of the meat right on the edge of the bone. It's really great because you'll be able to feed it to your sweetheart with your hands. The first thing we're going to do is take the rack, and from the back side, we're just going to find the joint and cut straight through. So you'll see how your knife just goes right in there. And I'm gonna start with olive oil. I'm just gonna, on my block, season these with a little bit of olive oil, both sides. Turn around. Of course, some gray salt. And we'll use our Himalayan pink, which is what we're cooking with today. So onto my grill pan, ready to go, our hot pan. We are gonna put our fantastic miniature chops for Valentine's. You can see how it really is just a bite-sized meal. These are going to sit here. They're going to grill up. Don't touch them. We want those fantastic grill marks, and we'll be right back. Well, we're back with our Valentine's basket, and look at this. Our lamb is grilling perfectly, getting a little bit of color on there. That is beautiful. Look how simple and easy those are. That's exactly what we're looking for. Look at that. That is exactly how that shop should look. That's wonderful. So while we're waiting for those to cook, we're actually going to do our mint pesto in my little mini processor. It's just a couple cloves of garlic right here. And then I have some great pine nuts. I love pignolets. And it's great if they pop all over because you can grab one and eat it. So a few pine nuts in there. And then, as I said, a little bit of help from the store. I'm going to go ahead and just put a dab of pre-made pesto in there just to get my emulsion going. Olive oil, of course, and we can drizzle that in as well. Look at that, that looks beautiful. And then one of my favorite tricks, as you all know, are fresh herbs. So I always love to get a big bundle of fresh chopped herbs. I'm giving my mint a big haircut and a trim. We're gonna put that beautiful mint into our processor. This is so easy. Anybody can do this at home. Lock that up and press fine. A couple of quick pulses is all you need. Oh, that's really getting wonderful. So we're gonna need to add a little bit of olive oil. And get that emulsion going. A little bit more liquid in there. Block that. And there we go. You see all those colors? We have the pine nuts coming together, the garlic, and a little help with our mint and our garlic pesto. Just pop that off, and let me show you this. First of all, this smells amazing. Look at that color. Beautiful, beautiful garlic and mint, which really softens that sharp flavor that we're familiar with. All I'm gonna do is just scrape this out into my bowl, and I'm gonna reserve this for later. Now, with this mint pesto, a little goes a long way. And you know my rule when it comes to uh, date dinners and garlic, two cancel out. So make sure everybody eats their garlic. Beautiful mint pesto. It's gonna go right over here. Let's check back our lamb chops. I've taught you before how we tell they're done, and these are perfect. Moving right along here with our Valentine's Day menu, and these are the palmeras that we put back in the cookie sheet earlier. They're out of the fridge. I'm just gonna bring them to my chopping block. This is so easy and simple, and it's really impressive. Your Valentine's gonna love it when you see this. Unroll your palmer. It kind of sings to you. That way you know it's good. And you can start to see a bit of that shape. And what I like to do is just turn this on the side. And we're going to want to discard that end, probably both of those. And then just simply start slicing your palmeras. 
Look at that. Those look fantastic. You see all those peppercini red pepper flakes? And they're pretty thin. I'd say about a quarter inch right on an ungreased baking sheet. No cooking spray. Puff pastry likes a very dry environment. These pop in at about 400 for just about five to seven minutes. They're golden brown. Don't want to leave the room when you're uh, cooking puff pastry. They make great snacks. And you know, after your Valentine, if you just want to have a cocktail party the next night, go ahead and pull a few of these out. They hold perfectly for days in an airtight container. There's nothing you can do wrong with these. So there's our Palmer, all deconstructed. There's the heart in the middle. All we do at this point is we're just gonna pop these in the oven with our polenta hearts and our lamb chops. They're gonna be ready in just a minute. In fact, we can check on those right now. Let me pop these in here. Oh, these are looking absolutely dynamite. Wait till you see this, you guys. This is fantastic. Look at our beautiful polenta hearts with our red pepper sauce and our lamb is perfectly ready. We're gonna move on to an asparagus course. Now, we're packing all this to go. So we would actually like it at room temperature. This can sit and just rest while we move into our asparagus. I think I spent my whole life peeling and Frenching different types of vegetables. I want to tell you a little bit about Frenching and asparagus. You usually see this done out of the country. Now in the States here, we get these in all different size. And today it's going to be really romantic to feed our sweetheart these spears of asparagus. Normally how you find the tough part is you just simply push and from here up, you eat. The rest of this, you discard. But one great trick that they use in professional restaurants and throughout the world, especially in France, is a technique called Frenching. And that's where we just remove the woody outside of the bottom of the stalk. What it allows us to do is actually keep more of the stalk of the asparagus. It looks beautiful. And then look how sweet those look. We've got a pile of beautifully French asparagus right here. And all we're gonna do for this recipe is lay them. They're just a roasted asparagus spear. Actually, they're Cupid's arrows is really what they are because it's Valentine's. I have this fantastic orange vinegar. Oh, wait till you smell these flavors with the asparagus. I'm just gonna put a little bit in the bottom of a bowl. And of course, where would I be without my olive oil? A couple tablespoons. We're just gonna add the olive oil so that the vinegar doesn't slide off completely. And I'm simply gonna drizzle. Look at that. Isn't that incredible? Anybody can do this at home. Of course, you go on to entertainingpeople.com and the recipe is right there for you. These beautiful, fantastic pistachios. I love these. And they're so fun to just sit around and munch. And you can buy them now, already shelled and ready to go. I'm just gonna dump these in the food processor. We just need enough for two. Pop our lid on. No seasonings, because we just wanna dust. It's really simple, just keep it grinding until we get this fantastic, crunchy, mealy texture. I'm gonna do it one more time. And another pulse as well. That's it. Let's pop those off our processor. Just grab your cup, and all I'm gonna do is sprinkle those. See the green of the pistachio with the asparagus? This is gonna be absolutely wonderful. And of course, we're cooking pink because it's Valentine's. Go ahead and season. Season high for good distribution fun pink salt and I think that these really probably deserve just a hit of black pepper I don't really put anything in the oven without it and as I look at the top of those pistachios probably one more drizzle of olive oil these are going to go into the oven and they're going to cook for just a few minutes barely undercooked so that they're finger edible I'm going to open this up and first out is our fantastic roasted asparagus with our pistachio dust Simple, simple, simple. That's what it's all about on entertaining people. Look at these palmeras. Little cheese, little herbs, time in the refrigerator, slice, it's perfect. Next thing will be our finger-fed asparagus. Wow, all these pistachios, what fun that's gonna be. Then of course, our high-end romantic lamb chops and our great hearts right here on entertaining people. All these recipes on entertainingpeople.com. Come back and wait till you see our dessert. Here on Entertaining People, I'm Porter William, and we're in the home stretch for our fantastic Valentine's Day gift basket. Are you hungry yet? Can you 
feel the flavors coming through. It's all about love today on this episode. And we're going to really kick up the volume right now with some romantic high notes that are going to be fantastic with your basket. I'm starting off our first course is actually going to be some caviar, some gorgeous, gorgeous red caviar. And of course, it's red for Valentine's Day. So what I did is I went to the local grocery store and I got one of those boxes and I took the chocolates out. Save the tissue paper. This is a great Porter's tip and Porter's picks all on entertainingpeople.com. Inside, I already have the two candles for the dinner table or outside or in front of the fire. And right here is a little vessel that we're gonna put the caviar in with this really fantastic rare mother of pearl spoon. So I'm gonna leave the caviar packed top on for safety and we're going to set this all in the refrigerator ready to go in our basket. The next item that's going to go in our basket of love again is just a store-bought box of chocolates. Do you remember when your dad used to bring these home to your mother when you were a kid? You always knew it was Valentine's Day. My dad always hid his under the seat in the back of the car. Well what I've done is I'm just going to remove the chocolates from here and I found this great little tin. By the way, there's a little place to put a note card inside. So we're just going to add a couple of the chocolates from our store-bought candy. Of course, you can buy anything that you like if your sweetheart has a favorite. Pack them together, and these are going to go on the pillow with a split of champagne. In the meantime, go ahead and save all the extra candy for your sweetheart later. You can just set it aside. And what you're going to be left with is a tin. This is going to be the box for our Palmares. Wait till you see how easy this comes together. So grab a spatula, here's our wonderful savory and our herb palmares, and I just want you to fill that heart. So simple. The reason why we're using this plastic container or cardboard is because the puff pastry is sure to crack when it's uh, traveling to your sweetheart. Love is on the way here at Entertaining People for our Valentine's episode. And the last thing we have to do to finish up is to pick a basket or a box or something that we can deliver our fantastic meal to our Valentine in. Today, our tablescapes are different picnic baskets. So you can go with a dynamic, traditional one like this. It's got great vessels for your wine and a place for your food. Or we can do something a little out of the ordinary. And you know me, it's always about grand scale. So so instead of a picnic basket, it could also be a box. And I really like this. These come in black, white, and red. Perfect for Valentine's Day. The other secret for our tablescape is I went into my favorite restaurant and I asked them if I could buy some of these great takeout cartons. Actually, if you ask nicely, they'll probably just give them to you. So let's start packing our Valentine's picnic. This is going to be so fun to deliver to my Valentine. Well, it wouldn't be Valentine's Day without some dynamite chocolate and a super dessert. So what I've come up with is a Ladyfinger Kirsch Cherries and Ghirardelli San Francisco chocolate bread pudding. This is so simple. Just find some Ladyfingers at your local store. And you'll just fill the bottom of a ramekin. I've already buttered and sprayed with a nonstick cooking spray. We'll put these in the bottom. For those of you who know about San Francisco, you'll know the brand Ghirardelli chocolates. And it always reminds me of a Willy Wonka finding this beautiful gold foil inside of the chocolate. We're going to take two squares of beautiful San Francisco Ghirardelli chocolate, and we're going to lay those on top of each of the lady fingers. It's so easy. And I'm going to top the chocolate with these sweet marinated cherries. Cherries on Valentine's Day. I love this. A little extra juice, we want to get the bread all saturated. Those lady fingers, we'll do both of these. That's perfect. And what I like to do is add just one more square of chocolate right on the top of the ramekin on each one of these. And we're going to pop these into the oven, low temperature for just about 20 minutes. All the chocolate's going to get ooey and gooey, and those cherries are going to just blow up filled with love, all for Valentine's Day, right here on Entertaining People. I never finish out a meal without a treat for the chef, and ah, Valentine chocolate. Mm, can't wait. Don't tell anyone I took it. I'm going to top my box, save this for me for later, and take this to my Valentine. Well, I snuck into my Valentine's house, and I'm getting my picnic all unpacked and ready. Last thing is our last candle. I'm going to put that right there. And then I wanted to show you these fantastic palmares and how they come together. Beautiful, savory palmares. And the caviar that I brought, it's going to sit right there, perfectly on top. 
Look at that presentation. So I've got my picnic box and it's all filled and ready to go. And what I want you to know is that if you serve this at room temperature, even cold, it's perfectly fine. First thing, I already have one out, but check out these plates. I love this. It says love, and look at these teeny little forks and spoons. Those are just in case we need one, but it's all about feeding each other with our hands. Our beautiful, beautiful cherry and chocolate dessert with our Ghirardelli. We're going to set right there. You remember our great takeout boxes that I got from my favorite restaurant. First thing is our asparagus spears, and we're going to put those right on the plate to start with. Look how beautiful that is. That's going to be so fun. And then next is our wonderful lamb chops. Wait till you see how great these look. We're just going to pull a couple off, lay it on each plate. Ah, oh, the grill marks on these. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that. Here is our pesto. I put it in this wonderful heart-shaped little ramekin. I'm going to set that right there. And then our hearts of love with our red pepper sauce are coming out. And I'm going to tuck those right in it's all about finger food. And the last one, let's do two per plate. Perfect. Look at that. Remember these little sweet tarts that you got when you were in grade school? I'm going to sprinkle the table with all of these just for fun. Always a sweet for the sweet. And then light some candles. Absolutely going to be amazing. Can you imagine the expression? My welcome drink for my Valentine is going to be an essence of rose nectar, a European rose nectar martini. And I found this great individual martini shaker. It's all in red. We're going to just strain those, our little martini. And look at that, barely pink, just the color of love. We've got a fantastic martini. Everything ready to go right here on Entertaining People. I'll see you next time.